What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to IT Security Labs. And today I'm very excited to be starting the advent of the Cyber Challenge. This is what we do every single year, where we go and complete the Cyber Challenge from Try Hack Me. This is a 24 day challenge where every single day we come in here and we complete a learning experience challenge. By the time we are done with this, we are not only better attackers and defenders, but we also have a more awareness on cybersecurity topics. Today is day one. We are given a story that says um, someone is trying to stop Christmas this year and stop Santa from delivering gifts to children this year. So we try to fix this problem where these people are trying to hack into our systems. And you're given a few information here that you need to go and read about. But what I found is that it's talking about security frameworks here, which is just um, documented processes that define policies and procedures organizations should follow to establish and manage security controls. So there are different security frameworks out there. And most of these might come during the interview process. And we'll be using this information to complete a challenge. For example, it says, who is the adversary that attacked Santa's network this year? Well, we don't know yet. So we need to go and complete the puzzle that we have here. Um, let, let's go back. If we go all the way to the top here. We see that we have a site with the puzzle that was left by the attacker. So let's go ahead and start it. Hit the start button. So it says, so you want to play a game to know who is behind the misery? So we're going to play the game. Sure. Um, looking at these pieces here, we can go back here to our frameworks. It looks like they're talking about the cyber kill chain here. So we know that we start with reconnaissance. So an attacker will start by doing some recon, passive and active, depending on how they do things. Then we have weaponization, where they have some tools in place. Then coming back here, we have delivery, where we need to deliver our payloads. So practicing cyber kill chain here. Exploitation. Okay. So delivery social engineering then we need exploitation we after we exploit we go to persistence uh, defense evasion and command and control all right so we completed the first challenge here just going through the cyber kill chain so this is what an attacker would normally do so these are the stages that it help us stop them at any of these steps here in this section here this is cycle two says under this phase, attackers will be interested in gaining more access and privileges. So we start with pivoting. So they're not happy with their initial access. Then we go to discovery. They want to find more assets in the network. Then after that, we do privilege escalation. Then after privilege escalation, we have execution. Credential control access and lateral movement. All right, so this is cycle two. I'm assuming the last one is on cycle three. So in cycle three, the CIA triage here of assets or services are compromised during this phase. Money, fame, sabotage will drive attackers to undertake their reason for executing the attacks. So we'll go through these. Right here, they need to first access. Then once they access, they start collecting their loot. After collecting, we exfiltrate. And after we exfiltrate, we have uh, impact and objectives. All right, so we finished the challenge going through the objectives. And the bandit here is the one who attacked the network. Go down here, paste that. What is the flag that they left behind? is this one and submit so that was day one where we went through some of these frameworks and tried to understand what they what motivates these attackers and the stages that they go through mm -hmm. join me tomorrow for day two where we will go through more learning and i don't know what that will be otherwise thank you for being here please subscribe so you'll be notified when i post another video otherwise see you later